autonomous block. Nunnery from the 4th century AD, 4th century. And behind this, monasteries for monks. Monasteries for monks. All the monasteries behind. And behind there are nine monasteries. Nine. Nine. But one of them, nunnery. So monastic life started first century Cappadocia. Because first century Christianity illegal. Everybody hiding underground. Underground city hiding the Christians. But fourth century, Constantine when he sleep, he dreamed Jesus. He dreamed Virgin Mary. And he tell his mother about the dream. Name of mother, Helena. And Helena telling Constantine, you must convert Christianity. If you don't convert Christianity, you lose your power, you lose your chair, your empire will collapse as well. And he don't want his empire to collapse, Constantine of course. He wants to sit on the chair. So he converted to Christianity and he gave his name to Istanbul, Constantinople. But also in the dream they told Constantine to build a church, which is Hagia Sophia. Today is a mosque, you know, today it's a mosque. But before it was a church, Hagia Sophia, from the 4th century AD. So uh, during that time, uh, many monks came to Cappadocia, monks and nuns from Jerusalem they came, and they started living monastic life. But during 4th century, we have hermits in Cappadocia as well, hermits. Now hermits, they live alone, alone in the cave, no windows, so they do fasting, so they don't eat, they don't drink, they pray all the time. This is hermits, you know. If you, if you see one cave, just one single cave on the mountain up there, it's hermit caves, hermits. They are torturing their spirit to God, you know, the hermits. But monks, they live in groups. Nuns, they live in groups as well. And they live here their whole life, from birth to death, you know, from birth to death. Those days, huh? Imagine. So, yeah, so those days, in Byzantine time, families are conservative as well. They are Christians, the families. When they have a baby, when the baby, you know, they give it to the monasteries. And this baby grow up with the knowledge of Christianity and he become a monk as well. The family is not allowed to say, I want my child back. We can't. Finish. He grew up there. If it is a girl, girl, they give it to the nunnery. A girl, you know, a baby girl, and she become a nun growing up. But again, the nuns, they grew up with the knowledge of Christianity. Also the monks, you know, monks and the nuns. When they live in the monasteries, they teach them very well. They are not allowed to lie. They are not allowed to steal. They have to be honest, you know, perfect human. You have to be a perfect human. You are not allowed to kill animals. You are not allowed to cut the trees. Who can do this today? Very little people. Very difficult. Also, they learn the language of Jesus those days. Aramaic language. Aramaic. Aramaic language. They are learning the language of Jesus. Byzantine times. Till now in Jerusalem, still there are uh, people talking Aramaic language. In Jerusalem, in Palestine, Israel, they speak language of Jesus as well. So these monasteries, all of them, they have got nice churches, very beautiful. You see the wall paintings, wall paintings from the New Testament. And some stories you see Old Testament as well. But why they paint the walls? So the monks and the nuns, they can get knowledge of Christianity. Some faces you will see destroyed as well. Faces of Jesus, faces of Virgin Mary, the faces when you go inside. This is destroyed by crusaders, you know, crusaders. 11th century, crusaders coming from Roma to Istanbul. Istanbul, they put fire in the church. Why? Because crusaders are Catholic. Not Orthodox. They are not Orthodox. Hagia Sophia, Orthodox church. So they don't accept the church, they don't believe the paintings. That's why they put fire. And when they came to Cappadocia, they defaced, all the faces destroyed by crusaders, 11th century. So, uh, 
church is there, but when we visit churches, we are not allowed to use camera. No talking as well inside, because when we talk, humidity destroys the paintings. No, with flash, without flash, photo is forbidden. This is protected by UNESCO, this museum. UNESCO protect. Orthodox Church also protect this place today. Because we notice that paintings get spoiled, you know? Yeah, yeah. Flashlight, flashlight colors are fading away. Mm. We want to protect. If you see someone taking photos in the church, warn them as well. Mm. Okay, yes. now is 11 o'clock, 11.45 we meet here. Okay. But please be on time, 11.45. Because we have many places to visit today.